morning. It's Friday morning. I'm three hours from the drop yard and then I get to go home for a week. I'm on uh, 840. That It's a road that goes around Nashville and it has got some ridiculous ski jumps in it, I call them. Uh, like you'll probably see the camera might bump around on me so I'm sorry about that here we go right here this and I think they tried to smooth this one out there's some really bad ones on this road you can dump a load real easy if you're not careful uh, the Bible says in Philippians it says be careful for nothing but in everything with prayer and supplications with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God. Now, this has been a rough, uh, rough year uh, for a lot of people, a lot of subscribers. Wow, I was doing 78 miles an hour. And uh, my subscribers even, uh, Brother Joey Robbins and his family got COVID. Uh, Brother Joe Dunn and his family's got COVID right now. And yet again, we have another uh, urgent prayer request. Sorry about that bug that splashed right there in my view. Um, uh, Sister Gypsy Lane, who has been with me like right at the beginning of my channel and has been a very uh, uh, big blessing to me. And to, if you know who she is, you know that she always prays for everyone. And uh, she's a dedicated Christian. Well, she had uh, gotten some real bad news yesterday. Her father, uh, his name is Gordon, um, was diagnosed with dementia. Now, I don't know if you've dealt with anybody with that. I have, and it's it can be real uh, stressful. It can be rough on the caretaker. And uh, she doesn't have any help to help him with uh, anybody that will help. She's going to do all the driving. And uh, she has a lot of pain and stuff she's going through. So please remember to keep her and... Uh, her father in your prayers and I think he even has got um, I'm not good at describing what she said it might be cancer or something also on top of all of that and there's nobody there to help her so pray for him but also pray for her that she'll have the strength she's going to have to drive into the city a lot and uh, believe me I know that can be stressful oh But he, the Bible says, but ev everything by prayer and supplication. Make your request known unto God. See, this is what's so wonderful. Is God wants you to talk to Him. Just like He talks to you through the Word of God. He wants you to talk to Him. And you, are, you can request anything you want. And that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Nothing happens without His will. But I've prayed for uh, trailers, like when I'm going to the yard, I pray, let there be an empty trailer there. I mean, all kind of stuff. Uh, I pray that I can find a parking spot at a truck stop. I mean, I'll make all my requests with thanksgiving, of course. You better thank God for your salvation every day. Don't let that uh, fall down your list, because if it wasn't for the... Uh, salvation of our God we would have no fellowship with him and he of course came and died for your sins and for mine that we can have this great salvation how can we neglect such a great salvation the Bible says but mainly the uh, reason I'm coming with, to you today and I want to thank all of you that do pray uh, I don't care anything about the numbers. I've never asked anyone to subscribe to this channel. 
I don't care. I don't want any money. I wouldn't take it if you offered. But I do love it that you people pray for those that give requests on this channel. I believe God will bless that more than anything else. Uh, I would ha rather have a few that diligently pray than thousands that are uh, not even Christians. <laughs> So I praise God for each and every one. I thank God for all of you. And I thank you for your prayers. I would rather have a praying channel than anything else. And I, uh, that's something we can do, you know. Uh, the Bible says to pray one for another. God wants to hear our prayers. The God, the creator of the universe, cares about yours and my problems can you even fathom that kind of love i it just is so amazing our god is so great so what was that old kid song we used to sing on the bus uh my god is so big so strong and so powerful there's nothing my god cannot do and it is so true it's a children's song i know but it is absolutely true there's nothing he cannot do he created our brain he created our body he can heal our body i totally believe that the lord can heal today just like he always has uh, i don't believe in faith healers but i do believe that the god if god wills it he can heal uh, anyone so please continue to pray. There's a, a young lady that, uh, named Nicole. Uh, I don't know much about her, but she asked for prayers. Uh, it's kind of like a, a silent request. The Lord knows what she needs, so lift her up. Continue, please, to pray for uh, Brother Joe Dunn and uh, his father and mother. They're not out of the woods yet. I think he's feeling better, but uh, his parents are getting older, and, you know, that COVID really is harder on an older person. And uh, if you will, continue to pray for me for the safety. Uh, and I, real, I can't thank you so much, uh, those of you that do pray for my safety, because uh, it's by the grace of God I make it 5,000 miles a week without any injury it really is i see all kind of stuff on the road and a lot of uh, people don't make it that uh, and uh, you never can tell you take your uh, eye off the road for one second and it's all over so i really appreciate those of you that pray for me um let's continue to pray for the lost and just join together in prayer lifting up our brothers and sisters in Christ and uh, brother Gordon or I don't know I, I don't know if he's saved I don't believe he's saved so pray for his salvation also uh, but you know a lot of people they'll just uh, I'll wait till my deathbed to get saved and I'll get saved when I'm on my deathbed a lot of people don't make it to the deathbed a lot of people get taken out with a stroke or a heart attack or uh, <laughs> these days you can be shot, you can be murdered, you can be, uh, I'm not trying to place fear on anybody, you could have a car wreck, probably uh, more likely that that would happen. You could be snuffed out, young people die, old people die, middle aged people die, so do not wait. If you have not put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I encourage you to do that today. I personally believe that the rapture is coming soon. And uh, that's our blessed hope, and I'm looking for that hope. And uh, there's quite a bit of scriptural proof that if you have heard the gospel and the rapture comes, you will believe a lie. You will be deceived. So don't put it off. If you're not saved, don't put it off. If you are saved, stay close to the Lord. How do you do that? By prayer and reading His Bible. 
I say that over and over in all my videos, and it's the most important thing I say. It really is. That you pray without ceasing and read your Bible. This is the way you stay in fellowship with our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, folks. I hope you saw some of the bumps I was getting thrown around back there. Sometimes they, they wanted me one time to haul a load of eggs and I turned it down because see the road I said uh, man there ain't no way I can make eight. you'd have to literally drive 30 miles an hour I don't know how I've never hauled eggs so I don't know how they package them but uh, these roads are rough out here I don't know how you get them across the country without busting them all up and then turning down your load but anyway, please remember uh, Sister Gypsy Lane. She always prays for everyone uh, that requested. And uh, thank God for her. And uh, she's going to need some strength from the Lord. And pray for her father and the Dunn family and Cole and any uh, prayer requests that anyone has. Uh, I will pray for you. And... I know that there are people on my channel that will pray for you also. So God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And uh, I get to go home Ugh. today. And I'm, I'm going to be home for a week. So thank God for that. Spend some quality time with my family. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.